Well, we started hauling manure today. It finally dried up enough that we can haul. And this is my truck and I was noticing that my chain was really loose that holds my beaters. Well, this roller was inside of here, but this is the tight side when the chain's going and it was pushing on the tight side. You need to push on the, the loose side. So it will not push because it was all the way that way. So I made a bracket that I made a bracket that I'm going to put right here and weld on. So that way this roller will push on the loose side, causing my chain to be tight. So now I got to weld it on. Actually tighten on the loose side which makes the chain look a lot better should run a lot better shouldn't jump anymore it was jumping right here all right huh? I'm gonna go haul some manure well we got started hauling manure we've already had a few things break turns out these new beaters don't really like the frozen solid manure but luckily the beaters swing out of the way, so we should be able to get it unloaded. This truck, the door got put down and the floor was left on, and it bent the door out, and now the door is rubbing on the beaters. So they're cleaning it off, and we'll see if we can figure out how to fix it, but it honestly looks like it's completely broken on top, so this one might be out of commission. Driving the loader and the, the step broke. So that's not going to work very well. So we're going to go ahead and fix it. PTO down here and it sheared the bolt that connects it to the gearbox so it was just spinning and nothing was running so we got to put a new bolt in this little joint right here to get it working again Since it's Trevor's truck, he gets to crawl underneath it and risk getting poop on him. Because right above him is the floor chain that uh, all the poop sits on. You can also see that it's currently snowing. April 19th and it's snowing right now.
That should work. So this is one of the doors that we've been having troubles with. The problem is when they lift the door up, it swings out and hits these beaters. And when it hits the beaters, the beaters break the door. So there was a piece of metal here, kind of like the other side, that hits this bracket to stop it from swinging. And it just ripped the bracket off. So we have Lloyd, he's over making a new bracket to hopefully stop this door from swinging out and hitting the beaters. We don't have a whole lot of room when it starts to go up. So what they do is they, they forget to turn their floor chains off. They're in there. They forget to turn the floor chains off and it pushes the door out before they can lift the door up. And then it hits the beaters. So just more problems. We'll get it fixed. So we had this bearing went out. So we replaced the bearing. The sprocket also is all mangled. We had to cut a new key to go in the little keyway there. We're hoping that this will go back together and work. It's just another one of the repairs we've had to do during manure hauling. Tight as it's gonna get. Nice and sloppy. That's what you get with a with a manure bed that's about 40 years old. This is one of the bearings. This is the one that came off of that truck. Still spins, but it's really gravelly. You can see the seal's gone in the back. And this sleeve moves, so it's not, wouldn't, wouldn't last very long. And then this one is out of this other truck. You can see the, the roller balls in there. It hit something hard enough to crack the bearing. Probably a piece of concrete. We get a lot of concrete in these trucks. And this is the truck that that cracked bearing came off of off of this chain right here we put a brand new bearing on it we had to get a new sprocket because the sprocket came off in the field and we don't we couldn't find it and it also cracked the shaft right there broke a chunk out and cracked the shaft and it looks like that key is also a little loose I'm gonna have to weld this little crack right there and then we'll weld a washer to the outside to hold the sprocket on, keep it from coming off again. And then these should be back in service. So, gotta love manure hauling. I'm sure there's many more breakdowns to come. We have this truck, this is our International. It also has a bearing that went out. The manure, the manure gets in from the back and takes the seals out and then gets in and they just go out. You can see the, the race from the bearing is still on there, but we just pulled the block off. It only had four of the balls in it still, so it is wore out. This one down here is also wore out. You can actually see, well, sometimes you can see. There's manure caked in it now, but you can see the balls in there. But we're gonna let that one go because that one is the bottom beater and it doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't catch much manure. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this bearing. And I got it on that one. No. We have the inside of the bearing we're trying to get off. We have our bearing puller. Ready? Yeah. Trying to see if we can get it to slide off the shaft. Got it. 
I have to clean it up and put the new one on. Okay. okay, we've got this back on. Slid it on. We cleaned up the shaft, slid it on, put all the bolts back in. Now he's just tightening down the, uh, the lock ring to hopefully keep it from uh, coming loose. And then we'll be, then this one will be good to go. It's been snowy today, so snow's all gone, but the fields are still a little wet. So that's why we're able to fix all these things that have broken in the past couple days. <laughs> Gra Grandpa doesn't want it to snow anymore. Right, Grandpa? We got, yeah, we got to get the manure out. After fixing all the trucks, we have manure water in here and a whole bunch of manure that leaked out of the bed of the truck. So we got to squeegee it out or else it'll make the shop just stink like manure for weeks. Yummy. We had another bearing go out on another one of our trucks. So we're in the process of changing that. Well, I'm hauling manure. And as you can see, it uh, got a little muddy. We had a, about a 10 minute storm. That storm right there just came through. In 10 minutes, it dropped enough water to make it so I got stuck in the field. So the tractor is pulling me. I still have to unload my truck. So he is gonna pull me through the field as I unload because my truck does not have very good tires. And I would just get stuck immediately as soon as he, uh, as soon as he got done pulling me. So, interesting way to haul manure, but we'll make it work. Here we are spreading it with the tractor now. Got, got too rain, got too wet, and it's raining some more. So, we'll be done for the day. But I finally got to spread one with a tractor on its arm. Well, my truck's empty starting to rain so I just got to unhook this we have another truck that's stuck over the hill luckily we were able to pull it it's got to go pull out another truck here's our other truck that is stuck in the field there's this big hill now that it's all wet, the, uh, the trucks can't get out. So we're gonna pull them out with the, uh, the big 8370RT, good old John Deere. done hauling manure for today that's for sure we have another truck stuck so had to bring the old 8370 out pull it out we we're trying to work around this pivot and it already got chisel plowed so it'll be sunk in the soft dirt We're gonna chisel plow right here, and then we'll move the pivot to here so it's out of the way. Now 
That's how you pull somebody out. Big old track tractor. Well, we have our 721 loader and uh, they just had this wheel off before we hauled to fix the, the brake hub. And they must not have put the lugs on tight because uh, yeah, there's supposed to be lug nuts in all those holes and those holes are supposed to be round. So it is about to just come flying off. So another breakdown, not good. Ooh. It rained yesterday and now our manure areas are just a lake. We're trying to figure out what to do. Now it's all sloppy. It's all sloppy manure about a foot or two deep.